Well, hello from Estadio Nacional in Lima. It is game day here between Peru and New Zealand's All Whites. It's finally arrived. Jason Pine, Michael Burgess here. Hard to believe that in, well, seven hours or so, Michael, it is going to be packed to the gunnels here. How are you feeling? Oh, I, just, I can't wait, Jason. It's just an incredible experience. A dream for a football reporter, I think. What's even more hard to believe is that, as you say, we're eight hours from kickoff. But it's absolutely packed outside on the streets. There's people with the, the shirts on, the flags, the, the drums, the trumpets, and we're eight hours from kickoff. It's incredible. The scenes outside the stadium, we'll bring those to you a bit later on on nzherald.co.nz. But the All Whites last night had a, uh, well, I suppose you'd say a troubled night's sleep. Uh, a couple of fireworks displays outside their windows in the early hours of this morning. Do you think that would have put them off? It may have done it. Well, it certainly would have surprised them, wouldn't it? Because it's something that they probably haven't encountered before. I know it woke you up, and you're a few hundred metres from there. They're staying on the 16th floor of the Merritt Hotel, which is an incredible hotel and soundproof, I imagine. But I'm sure they would have heard it. And it's quite uh, clever by the Peruvian fans that put it together. We're here in the stadium, as I say, Estadio Nacional. What do you make of the uh, of the match venue? Oh, it's brilliant. Um, there's an incredible amount of corporate boxes. Uh, which is quite something, but the, the pitch is perfect. Um, I love the old style terraces at either end. Uh, so yeah, it's a great place to, to, to watch football. 9.15 local time is kickoff. That's 3.15 back in New Zealand between now and then. We'll bring you all the colour and the action from outside the stadium. And of course, a full match coverage as well on nzherald.co.nz.